Robert, you've written a book, uh, Flower Therapy, and you've written it with a very famous lady from the US, Doreen Virtue. How did that come about? Oh, that's an interesting story. I, uh, I first went and did Doreen's Angel Intuitive class when she ran it in Sydney. And then I got hooked on the angel buzz. <laughs> And a couple of years later, she came back to teach more advanced topics. Uh, so, of course, you know, I went along and did that as well. And while I was there, she said, oh, I'm doing a, a mediumship class where it's limited to just 20 people. And I thought, I've got to go to this thing. And so I race home, you know, I look it up and, you know, they're sold out for like two years in advance. And I'm thinking... I don't care, I'm going anyway. <laughs> and so I, I just kept looking, you know, kept looking every day and then there's an opening. You know, so I quickly email them and it's like, oh, you know, I wanna come. <laughs> and so they go, okay, you've got like a week to pay this fee. <laughs> and at the time I'm a student, you know, I have no money, I have no passport, I've never been overseas before. <laughs> and this class is in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> but somehow the stars aligned and I got it to work. And while I'm there, you know, on the last day, Doreen comes up to me. And at first I thought I was in trouble. <laughs> so I thought, I thought, you know, I saw her sort of look at her offside and kind of point to me. And I'm like, oh, I'm just going to ignore that. And, you know, off we go to lunch. And she's like, oh, Robert, just, just stay here for a minute. And I'm like, okay. I'm thinking in my head, you know, oh, I've traveled all this way, I've spent all this money, and now I'm not even going to get a certificate. <laughs> then she says to me, oh, I've been watching you over the last few days, and I'd really like for you to keep working with me. You know, I want you to come back, you know, and support me at my other events and, you know, do some other stuff together. And so I did, you know, and for a couple of years, you know, I was there assisting her at some of her other functions. And then again, randomly, she calls me aside and she says, I have this idea for a book. She says, but I only want to write it if you'll do it with me. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and so then that's how Flower Therapy was born. And, and what is flower, flower Therapy? What's the book about, Robert? Well, basically we talk about 88 different flowers and their healing messages. So we connect each one of them to different angels, to different chakras or energy centers on your body. And basically tell you how you can have these flowers around you or even just their photos to gain benefit. So say like white roses, you know, white roses are a really deeply purifying flower. And they're also connected to Archangel Michael who clears away fear. We've got Archangel Raphael who helps to bring any kind of healing. And then also Archangel Metatron who brings balance. You know, so this one single flower can detox your life of any drama, uh, any stress, any heavy energies, you know? So that's what the book is full of. In a previous interview, you talked about uh, the American Indians and mm -hmm. echinacea. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. um, is this book following in, in that direction? Is, is it by inspiration? Is it intuitive? Is this, is this the way you come up with these with these remedies? Yeah, well, this is how, like, we, we sat with each of the flowers and meditated with them. You know, we wanted to hear what the flower had to share, you know, and as you said, like, the American Indians had the echinacea, you know, which we put in there as well. And so the echinacea helps us, you know, on a physical level, you know, with colds and flus and things. But when we meditated with it, what we found is it also helps us to open up our third eye chakra, you know, enhance our clairvoyance and our psychic gifts by detoxing our life from fear. So give us an example of how you would use um, the remedies in this book. What, what would be the process of, you would look up a particular flower, mm -hmm. then how does it go from there? Yeah, so you can work with the flowers in a whole host of different ways, but say one is just to have the fresh flowers in your home, you know, so say yellow lilies. Okay, we love to use yellow lilies just before the flowers burst open. You know, so buy them when the buds are still a little bit closed. And then just sit with them and pour your heart out to them because these flowers help us with abundance. All right, so then if you have these flowers in your home or in your office or business place, then as soon as those flowers open up, they send that energy and all those prayers out to the universe. And basically what you've just done is ask for help with any kind of financial concern. Yeah. But you can also then use these flowers on your body. So placing, you know, the roses on you or sort of waving them around your aura. Uh, you can also work with different essential oils like lavender. Um, and as I mentioned before, even the photos have such a strong and powerful energy themselves. 
Okay. What feedback have you had um, from the book? Well, people are loving it, which is, you know, so humbling for me because, you know, that's the whole reason I write stuff is because it's to reach a wider audience. You know, if it's just me here doing things face to face, one on one, then there's only so many people I can see. But something like having a book or an article out there, it's helping so many more. And, you know, I'm getting people like just the other day I had a lady from Germany, you know, and she's emailed me in and she's saying, oh, you know, can you help me choose a flower for, you know, the open day at my shop and, you know, cool little things like this. And I think how awesome is that, that people all around the world are incorporating the things that I helped to bring through. What was it like working with Doreen Virtue on this? Well, I think I had the added advantage that we've been friends for, you know, three or four years beforehand. So it was very simple, you know, and I was, you know, internally grateful for her experience because I think now she's written something like 70 plus books. You know, so she knows what she's doing. <laughs> she knows the process. And so then as I sort of come in, you know, as a young grasshopper, it's like, well, I don't know how to do this, you know, how do we word things and how do we structure stuff and all of that, you know, I kind of had the fast tracked version. Did you get into trouble off Doreen if you made a spelling mistake? <laughs> no, no, well, I laugh at things like that because every now and then, you know, I'll text her something and, you know, the silly autocorrect on the phone. It's like, I'll say something wrong and she'll point it out. And I'm like, oh, well, this is your co-author. You know, it's like, you're the one that wanted to write a book with me and, you know, I can't spell my own name. <laughs> <laughs> But, but Robert, it's grown from there, and you've also mm -hmm. done uh, a set of flower therapy. Uh, is it Oracle cards or Angel cards? Oracle cards. Oracle yes. cards, yep. right? Yeah. Um, tell us about them. Yeah. So what we did is we took 44 of the flowers that are in the book and turned them into Oracle cards. So each card still has the angel energy and the angel vibration about it. But what we wanted to do was put the beautiful pictures of the flowers on each of the cards because they have that healing property as well. You know? And so each card then has its own unique message and, you know, the, the energy that it wants to share with us. What's the difference between angel cards and oracle cards? Uh, well, there isn't really much of a difference. Like, um, mostly I suppose the angel cards have pictures of angels on them and oracle cards could have pictures of other stuff on them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and have you got plans to do some more of these? Well, yeah, there's definitely plans in the works, but you know, you'll all have to stay tuned. <laughs> how can you get, how you can get hold of say a book or the cards? Where can you buy them from? Oh, uh, well, they're available now at any place they sell books. Um, they have them, you know, on all the online retailers, things like that, or you can get them direct through the publisher at hayhouse.com. So that's worldwide. Yes. Yep. Hayhouse.com.au, mm -hmm. is it? Yep. Yep. And then, you know, they'll be over the course of the next few months, I'll be translating them into all sorts of different versions. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much, Robert. <laughs> Thank you.